Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to Muya Burgers, Fries, and Shakes. Never tried it before, so I'm gonna take you guys with me and just see how it tastes. Muya. So I just ordered my stuff from Muya. I got my order. Jasmine, obviously my name spelled with a Z. I really don't think I've ever got my ticket with the right name, and it's okay. The place. Welcome to Muya. And yeah, Jasmine told me, right? But yeah, they got her husband. We should definitely get points. How do you get points? Scan the code. Oh God, this is our food. I got my strawberry shake. Okay. Well, well. Okay. This is looks very good. No, you got a bacon. What you got? Bacon cheeseburger. Okay. Bacon and I got a Muya cheeseburger. Uh, let me. Uh, she got tender. Do they have any ketchup? The ketchup right here. I like putting ketchup all over my stuff. Huh? Tomato. Oh no. That look good. It got that stuff on it. I don't need a bacon at the top. Should I try these? I don't really like the back stuff though. It's like Fusion, so I just... Only Fusion and half though. I made my stuff a little messy though. Because I put all this ketchup it's in like stuff. Mm -hmm. But... I'm gonna put mm. a little bit of ketchup in my thing. What's that, garlic? It's garlic. Ooh, it tastes so good. Let me just put a little bit of garlic. Just a little bit. And then whatever this is, I don't know. You just take risk out here. I love like garlic this I think the burger could be hotter. I like this burger. It just need to be a little hotter. The fries are pretty good. Yeah. They're pretty good. The fries. We dancing. We <laughs> dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, y'all should gotta shake. This shake good. Look like it's good. Mm -hmm. right, my burger just be falling apart. See, all that mm -hmm. tomato just gotta go out. Would you know how to be asking? To be honest though, I'm in these people restaurant, but. Hey, Shake Shack is a little better. I like Shake Shack. If y'all never tried Shake Shack, y'all need to try Shake Shack. Shake Shack is a 10 out of 10 all the time. Their drinks are good too. This, I give it a 7. A 7 out of 10. Uh, what y'all give it? I give it a 7. 7. 7. Actually, sorry y'all. 6.5. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. It's just like, mm, no. This is it's just a little better. They take their time more on the meat and it's more detailed with the bun. Yeah. I be eating this. Yeah. But yeah. Well, yeah. Y'all might not think what I think, but I'm just saying. For me personally, every time I eat shakes that I love it. Exactly, and it's, I can't stop eating. Yeah, I think Five Guys is good. Five Guys burgers are really good, like really. Five good. Guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're expensive though. Their box burgers are really good. I think you. The last time I, you, I ate with when you had bought it for me when I was at the mall. Yeah, I, I don't real. think I, I didn't like it that much. I did. Bro, Charlie's cheesecake, I mean, Philly cheesecake, whatever yeah. it's called. Charlie's, Charlie's that's something good, girl. Charlie's when I, when I actually want it, I be wanting it. I, I love it. I, I love the Philly steak. Y'all still can try it with y'all. It just wasn't what I thought, y'all. But <laughs> if you go to Shay Shack, y'all would love it. But this right here, it's okay. I give it a 6.5. Now, if you think a 6.5 is good for your taste, then you try it. But for me, it's, it's okay. Huh? Not bad, though. But you know where it's at. I'm glad you asked. So, this shake. I would give it it. I would give it, um. I think I would give this shake. Let me try it one time. A few moments later. Six. I give it a six. The reason I give it a six, it tastes a little too milky. But other than that, it's pretty good. It just tastes like the one of them shakes when you was in McDonald's and you used to just drink the milk. It tastes like it's so much milk in it and not enough strawberry flavor. It's because I asked for strawberry flavor. Now if I asked for like a vanilla, this probably would be an eight. But since it's a strawberry shake, I'll give it a six. That's not that bad, right? I, I tried too many strawberry shakes. Of course, I'm going to give it a lower score because that's the best I've tried before. It's not her face. It's not her face. 
Jesus, Lord. Hey, you, you know. know. People mm -hmm. think I'm crazy, so. You know what? <laughs> Do you trying to tell me that? Like, I know it's like looking at me. You want? Well, don't look that extravagant, baby. So what you looking at me for? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> you eat like the damn. Yeah, sorry guys. I eat like a. Uh, I'm, only gonna, I'm not gonna say that word. I was gonna say an animal. I don't eat like no animal. Mm -hmm. I eat like. <laughs> <laughs> no, my bad. I'm sorry. Go too far every time. <laughs> I eat like a little kid. I'm gonna say that. I eat, I eat like a kid. <laughs> Yo, look at my sister plate and then look at mine. Look at my sister plate. And she had all her fries here. Blame me, baby. So, uh, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I do care. You know why? Because people are crazy. Yeah, you don't know. We, do you not understand? We have people going to record places just adding people randomly in places. Yeah. So you think I'm going to just act like, oh, I don't care. I, yes, I do. I yeah, don't care. Yeah, because that's weird. You can forgive people, but people mix up forgiving people and thinking that they have to still be around them in the future. I mean, that could happen, but that that, that might not happen. It you might not happen. Not, you, it's all about your mental health and it's all about who you choose to have around you. I mean, this world is so big anyway. I just feel like, even if it's family, be respectful, forgive, mm -hmm. don't hold the hate in your heart because at the end of the day on judgment day, God gonna come and you don't wanna be held accountable for that. But still, just tread lightly. You can tread lightly, meaning if you see them in person, you still can be nice, but just don't have so much hate in your heart and feel like, oh no, I, I'm never gonna see you in my life. And if you think it's gonna get to a point where you're not gonna, like you're faking kindness and not going to be kind to this person, then you shouldn't even be around. Even thing, another thing. Even, let's like, talk even, about. Even you forget it's kind of like, let's say you're in a relationship with a guy or whatever. A lot of guys think, okay, because the woman say I forgive you, they think you're supposed to just start back dating. Them. No, I I can forgive you for your actions. But I, I'm never gonna talk to you again. Exactly, ever. and I don't know why people think that. And so that's what like, I'm saying. If I think I'm gonna beat this man, <clears throat> oh, why am I gonna continue to be in a relationship? What with do they do? And even how people we we people we may know, they act like someone is supposed to just come open back into their life. They, they, it's it's like manipulation. It's kind of like a guy he'll go have a baby on a girl, and then she say I forgive you, and then they think, oh, we back a family. And you supposed to stop this baby. No, I'm never talking to you ever again. Yeah. But, but I forgave you. But, but I forgive you. Because you just said that, like, I might just not ever see them again. No, I was saying that if it's inevitable, where, oh, like, yeah. you're going to a store. No, I'm talking about me. Like, I like I don't want to actively see you. But if you, if you, you say, I don't want to ever, I'm saying if you so happen to see them again. See, by uh, your choice, if you don't, I'm not going to invite you to a dinner. I'm not going to invite you to my party. <laughs> that's what I'm on. That's, that's what I'm that's what I'm wrong. Yeah. You that's what I'm that's what I'm on. Because I'm on that if, way. If, 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 but if I never because these people I have seen that I don't like. If you inevitably see them, that means that you shouldn't be like try to shoot them in public or just try to yeah, make a scene. Exactly. And the, or you shouldn't when yeah. you see them, you shouldn't get angry. Exactly. That means that. you're not forgiving. You're not forgiving. I'm, I'm just gonna let you know. You, that all I'm saying is that if you so happen to see somebody that you didn't want to see, that you said you probably would never see in your life, if it comes to a part of your life where you have to see them, you should be able to handle it well. If you, you shouldn't be mean, plural, but want to hurt them, it should be where, because if you do do that, that means you, you still are forgiven. Mm -hmm. And it goes to the part where you're still in the wrong. But if you actually can see them and it's just like, it was not planned and you're nice to them or just cordial. Not even nice, cordial. That yeah. should be good. Yeah, I'm you, cordial with everybody. Yeah, that's all I want to let you know. You can forgive somebody. I just don't want to act to have around have you. you. They don't have to be in your proximity. They don't have to be in your atmosphere forever. That's your choice. But I'm saying if you were going to room somewhere or they was, at a job somewhere, had to come volunteering somewhere. I don't know. And I, yeah, like, I feel like with family, when I when I was talking about like you should not say never again, like with your family, because I feel like family is like what God gave you. And I feel like you should be like, I don't want to see them again. I would want to reconcile, meaning that I forgive them, but right now we need a break. But if I would hope that their heart would change and they would become a better person that we may be able to sit in a room together and do family functions again yeah. and not have because why is it that if this is your parent or this is your aunt or this is your cousin why is, um, unless they did something like sexual talk to a visa or something but if they were it was a disagreement they are like a toxic person if they change and the time has passed 
it would be good for you guys to reconcile and be back family again. Mm -hmm. That may not ever happen, but mm -hmm. that, that should be the goal. It shouldn't be where you hate your parent forever. Mm -mm. You should not uh, not hate, but yeah. not want to ever see and your I'm parent. Always, I'm always said, about possibilities. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. it's just pop yeah, I said I had worried about Or your friend. Yeah, worried I'm worried glad that you acknowledge yeah. that you worried wrong. And maybe, even if you say I never worried wrong, I just wanted to tell you what I thought and what, mm -hmm. what it came from. Because I was definitely saying. Saying. Even somebody that was your best family. friend. If someone's your best friend ever since mm -hmm. elementary and y'all had a disagreement and you like, they no, we can't be friends mm -hmm. anymore. But later on in life, they changed yeah. and they apologized. Yeah. I don't want to shut off my family. I just want people, people to be you should get your peace. In, a, in a better space yeah. before I want to be mm -hmm. actively around. And the reason See, I was saying is because mean. a lot of times when you accept people back quickly, they really don't change. Mm -hmm. And they think, oh, she gonna always be here. She gonna always gonna be available. So I'm gonna continue. I'm just gonna act good for right a little bit and then I'm gonna go back to my same way. Mm -hmm. And then it never changes. Mm -hmm. So you have to put your foot down and let people know, no, this is not what I'm doing. And you separate for a while. Mm -hmm. And then they'll understand that, oh, she not playing this time. If I don't get my behavior right, she's not going for it anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what it is. But that don't mean I hate you, but I want you to know that you disturbing my peace. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna come, I'm gonna have my peace. <laughs> By all means, By all means necessary. necessary. Exactly. Period. 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 <laughs> in the perfect world, I would want to be around. It's not a perfect world. We're not in heaven. We're not in heaven, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's funny, because it's true. Yeah, it's like not like that, so I just want We got people who messed up and they got me, they got people bent, not And, and you can watch First 48 and you'll realize that the people who are killing people or harming people are the people are closest to them. Watch for music channels also, not just right. First 48. They really, so you really need to be cutting these You need to be on guard. Mm -hmm. If somebody don't value you, exit, let them exit out your life. And you might need to just do it yourself by cutting them off. <laughs> but cut them off and make sure that you're not doing it out of hate, but just do it for your own being. And then you can forgive them. But all that other stuff we're talking about, oh, I've never seen them. It's a possibility you might, and you might be the old. Just, I just want you to have like a, a little softness in your heart a little bit not too hard where it's just like oh i'm never it is because god will bring people back in your life and you don't know why so they might well, they change. need to come in a different tone that's oh they're going to come in a different tone because they know, they know that that's, you're not playing with that gracefully get from around me no it's grace because you do that to me you didn't want to fool me once shame on you fool me right. twice shame I on me i think i'm more of not leaning like i'm not you're mm -hmm. not leaning no on people mm. i can easily let go of you yeah true true so Maybe people struggle with keeping people too long. Mm -hmm. I'm lenient, but I don't deal with a lot of people. Yeah, but I feel like since you don't deal with a lot of people, that makes it better. So you probably, some people, some people stand lenient to that person because it's just like, I don't deal with that many people, but still, that would have you up in a lot of trouble that you shouldn't have to. Because I feel like just because I don't deal with a lot of people and it's one person not doing me right, I don't give a care. If I have to yeah. be by myself, I will find another person. Because yeah, you're not going to put me in misery because you're the only person I deal with. Oh, well, get out of my life. You can like go to a trauma bond. Yeah, a trauma bond. And I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be entertaining your misery. You're going to be miserable by yourself. Right. You can't be me. We're, 2024 is approaching. The thing about me is, I don't wait till the next year to act like, oh, I'm going to start. No, no, no. I've been doing this. This is a lifestyle. Y'all got to come with it this year. And so, what are red flags in men? Red flags in men? I'll just do two. A red flag in a man is when he's arrogant. You're the prize, and I'm the prize, too. I'm, I'm the prize, and you're my king, if you act as such. Just, I don't like cockiness. Just, I don't like arrogance. Can I go? Yes. Following too many girls on Instagram. Following too many girls on Instagram? Yes. Yes. And a certain type of girl yes. on Instagram. Yes. Like if it's OnlyFans. Them sex work. OnlyFans. Only them Instagram models. Them OnlyFans models. Baby, you if you're an Instagram model uh, and you whatever, you can get mad at this. You and I'm not talking about you. <laughs> but if he's following a lot of people like you or a lot of people, <laughs> that's the way it's like, baby. <laughs> Yeah, and you know it too, so. And you know it too. So yeah. But yeah, like I said, if you're arrogant, I don't like all the arrogance from a man. I don't like the conceitedness, I don't like that. You cocky, whatever, leave that at the door, or just don't be with me. Too friendly, man. Just oh yeah, so if you're so friendly and everybody, every girl face you see, being so all over them, flirting with every person in the drive-through line, just so friendly. 
reposting everybody just I can't do it. Exactly. You're too friendly. And also, since I know a lot of people go on first dates at restaurants, a man that doesn't tip. Ooh. Why wouldn't you tip the waitress? <laughs> like that shows your character, in my opinion. Because if somebody gives you service, why wouldn't you give them something back? Like show your gratitude. So I feel like you'll keep put that energy in a relationship. Like a woman is serving mm -hmm. you and you're not really giving nothing back. I don't like that. I don't like that. Too. But you get what you want. You get what you want out of the woman, but you don't expect to give much back. I don't like that. You have to watch those. Things. Another red flag is when a man talks so down on other women that he's not with. I mean, be respectful to all women because it makes me feel like you like that woman. Why exactly. are you constantly talking about women? Like, ooh, she ugly, ooh, she fat, she did, she... I feel like if you worried about this woman so much and saying what she is and what she not, don't you like her? Because you're supposed to respect everybody anyway. I feel like if you just respect me because you're in a relationship with me, you really don't respect women. I feel like I want somebody who respects everybody now. Don't get it twisted. Don't be friendly with every woman, but respect all women. Exactly. Okay. And next, a messy man. A man that mm -hmm. likes to gossip and he stays in women's business. That is a real Yeah, guy. if you're mm -hmm. sassy, don't be around me, baby. Don't <laughs> even do don't even engage in conversations about people. Don't talk about somebody uh, what somebody else is doing. That's messy. I don't like that. Yeah. Another red flag is a guy that don't know how to treat his mom, like disrespect his mother. Yeah, because yeah. if you disrespect your mother and you don't have any respect for her, you don't have respect for me either. Your your mother birthed you in this world. Why do I think you're supposed to treat me any better if you can't treat your mother right? That doesn't make any sense, right? Just tell me, does it does it make sense? No, it doesn't. Okay. Another red flag is a man that's lazy. And I'm not talking about broke. He has no urgency about himself. Like he doesn't even try to like he doesn't have any drive. He doesn't have, he's not driven. He doesn't try to provide for the house he just lets you do everything i don't i don't like that yeah like you know you're not a come with it too boo. don't be lazy don't be like like sleepy all the time <laughs> you say sleepy all the time sleepy all the time okay guys we got we're about to do red flags and women now with my people around you can't see them but i got people around okay i just been a woman have women have negative attitudes towards men all the time all men are trash all men are not anything like sometimes that can be a problem because you're not even having an open mindset to that you can possibly get somebody that's that is something that can treat you right i don't like because i i wouldn't want to say every man is not something because it's like you don't even want to look for somebody that could be good for you. Okay, my red flag is when a uh, female only listens to their ratchet girl anthems. Hey, I'm not saying you can't listen to uh, your sexy red. I'm not saying you can't listen to your city girls. I'm not saying you can't listen to any other, other female rappers that you listen to. But at some point, you you don't listen to nothing else. And sometimes that stuff get in your head. That stuff they promote their music is so negative. They'll have you thinking that about every man you meet. That is not how every man is. So you can listen to your city girl anthem, your ratchet girl anthems, your ghetto anthems, but sometimes you gotta listen to something else. I hope you listen to something else. Now, if you don't, that's a red flag to me. Hey, I'm just saying. Now. Um, my red flag is women that um, always everybody they bro. Like they got a million bros. Like. <laughs> I definitely think you should be selective <laughs> in your who's your bro. And most times when they be saying, oh, they be like, that's my bro. Don't worry about him. He nobody to worry about. That's the person you need to worry about. Exactly. <laughs> that's the person you need to worry about. The person she's saying, oh, don't worry about him. Oh, worry about him. If you mm -hmm. a man and your your girlfriend, anybody. Hope, hopefully nobody wife doing it. But if your girlfriend doing that and she's saying, oh, don't worry about him. He ain't nobody to worry about. Worry about him. Mm -hmm. Worry yes, about him. when y'all on game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another red flag I have about women is when they seek validation, like, on Instagram. They always talking about boys on Twitter. Always talking about just problems, men problems. Like, everything is men problems. They're always talking about bad relationships. Everything centers around men. Like, I get it. You've been in relationships, but... You gotta be positive, and you don't need to be seeking validation from these men all the time. Talk about other stuff on your social media. Talk about other stuff on your Twitter. Don't talk about all your boy problems every day. Every day, that means you want validation exactly. in a way. So mine's kind of go off of that. Mine's is when a woman doesn't have any substance. Like why? Like I, somebody should be able to have an intelligent conversation with you. <laughs> like why do you think you only equate to your looks? 
it, everybody can be cute. Everybody cute in 2023. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly. True, and yeah, that's pretty true. That's true, and yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's pretty true. That's pretty true. I mean, that's true. Yeah. What do you add more than cute? Yeah, what do you add? Do you have any more value than just you saying you cute? Like, that's cute is not going to keep the relationship. I hope you know that. I got, I got two. Women that lie about anything, little bitty things. If she lie about little things, she'll lie about big things. And that goes for men too. Mm-hmm. And another one is a woman that's thirsty on the internet. Just, if she got a man and she always um, looking for validation from other men or she letting men, uh, have men on her page talking about, oh, you fine, babe, and she entertain other men. Yeah, she entertaining. Is she entertaining other men on her uh, social media? Yeah. Because she probably scheming on you. She probably trying to be with that dude that she entertained. The next the man that can week. give her the biggest dollar. Yeah, she's up mm -hmm. to. Just saying. Say for people, people who value money over morals. Nowadays it seems like everybody just want money, but no one treats like treats people right or expect to be a good person. And I get it. Money is good to have, and it, it can buy you things. But sometimes, baby, where's your dignity? Where's your self-respect? Same for a man. If a woman is not treating you right, if a man is not treating you right, I don't care how much money they have. Because at this point, do you want to be alive? I give this a six. I give all these people a six. So I have this time. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Anybody good? I swear to us. I'm good. I'm good. I can nobody. I'm good. 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 I